All right, let's talk about making your first radio show. Now, I'm inside of the shared folder that's off the website here. So if you were to uh, be at the website, let me go back to the website here, go to the grades. I'll wait for that to load up. Um, but you guys kind of get what I'm saying here. Okay, go to Pirate Radio. And then down. Okay, so you've got the turn in, but you've got the Pirate Radio Files folder. Okay, so that's where I'm at. I'm in that Google Drive. And so step number one is you've really got to plan and organize your show. So kind of decide how, you know, what you want for a show. If you want to interview somebody, how much you want to say between things. Now remember it's pre-recorded, so you can't talk about any events at the school. Like you can't talk about the weather or a sporting event or something because uh, your show might play three months from now or something. So, but kind of come up with something interesting in your show and then uh, go through it. Like I'm gonna go here and open up the sweepers and um, I'm going to download, uh, for this example, I'm just gonna download a few, like a station ID, uh, Music Matters, Big Hit Promo. But you know, you go ahead and you need uh, probably uh, six or seven sweepers. So I'm just gonna go here and download those to a folder. It's zipping those. I've already made a folder here. On, if I go over here to my finder, you can see I've made a folder in my, um, my documents called My Radio Show. Okay, so that's, uh, where I'm going to put everything. So those download. Now I'm just going to go to my downloads folder and uh, move that over into there. Okay, so now those are in there. You can see they're in there now in my, my show. Uh, next thing you got to do is go back to here and get some songs. Okay, so you need about 12, maybe 13 songs because you need a 40 minute radio show. So uh, now always remember, I, I've done my best to go through these songs and make sure that they're all appropriate but sometimes they do sneak through. So if you find a song that is either has a theme or words that are inappropriate for a middle school, uh, just let me know so I can move it to uh, move it out of that folder so that we don't have it anymore. Okay, so uh, let's just see here if I can pick a song that I want to have. Okay, so I'm just gonna have uh, these, I don't know, Sucker and If I Can't Have You and um, Sweep a psycho. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and download those as well. Uh, of course, you will be doing 12. I'm not going to do that right now, just to save time. Uh, I just need a few just so I can show you an example. Okay, so those have been downloaded. So now let me move those from my uh, downloads folder as well. Oh no, now they're, now they're downloading. Here we go. Come on down. Okay, and I'm going to drag those over. But I don't want them there. I want the OneDrive back. Okay. So you get what I'm saying, though. I've got everything in my, my folder here called the My Radio Show. And um, I have the files ready to go. Sorry, I got a little bit dis distracted there because I, <laughs> I put it inside the other folder. But so step one is organize your show. Okay, so get your, your, your script together, uh, things you want to talk about get all the files that you need together, the songs, the sweepers. If you're gonna create some new sweepers, which you should create three yourself, go ahead and create all those now. So get everything done. Uh, when we come back in just a moment, we're actually gonna open up GarageBand and create our first radio show, okay? Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry for that little mix up in the last part there. Uh, it was freaking me out that I had these other folders in there uh, that were from the, be the files being zipped. So I've now since reorganized everything so in my my radio show folder here i've got all the files i need now of course you are going to have 12 or 13 songs six or seven sweepers those type of things but for this example i just have a few in there just so you get the idea okay so i've got those ready uh next thing i need to do is just to make sure my microphone is all set up correctly i'm using a raspberry microphone that's plugged into my usb uh, never use your internal microphones for doing professional recordings like what we need right now so uh, go ahead and get one of the USB microphones from the studio and make sure that your settings are that so that when you talk at a normal level, they're bouncing within the last two, never hitting the last one. We never want to hit this last one. We want it just into uh, this bouncing up into this area right here. So my adjustment is set. You just turn that up or down, or there's also the controls on the sides of the microphone. Make sure if you're using like a Yeti or one of those, that the gain is set right in the middle on the actual microphone itself, and then make these software adjustments to about right here. Okay, so that's ready to go. Now we can go to GarageBand. Okay, 
So here's a song I was working on in GarageBand, but we need to do a new file. So I'm going to go to File, New. Okay, and let's just go for um, Factory Template. Well, let's try Voice out here because we're just going to record our voice for the show. And you can see that it gave us all these other voices here, which we do not need. So I'm just going to um, select these and delete these tracks because we don't need to have these ones here. So I just have my one, um, my one track there. And uh, leaving it on narration voice is a, a good setting for what we want to do. Let um, me just go ahead and check to make sure my microphone is working here. So you just uh, testing one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm not getting anything out of my microphone. So let me go into here, go to GarageBand preferences and audio. And let's use the uh, Raspberry. Okay, so let's hope this whole thing works because I actually have my screen recording software working with QuickTime Player and I'm recording with GarageBand. So I have, I guess if you do it, two apps that are recording from the same microphone. Huh, might work, might not work. But anyhow, I've got this set up. Um, I've got just the vocal track. I'm gonna switch this over to time right here so that we keep an idea so when we're getting near 40 minutes. And let's start to build our, our show. So I'm gonna come here and get uh, the station ID and drag that up to the first track right here and then drag it over so it's at the beginning of our show. Okay, so uh, we start off with the station ID and then um, I'm gonna record up here in the narration uh, vocals, put my playhead right here after uh, the station ID happens and I do like to have a little bit of a countdown so I can hear just before I start to record. And I'm gonna welcome everybody to the show and introduce the first song which I'm going to probably do uh, Sucker by the Jonas Brothers, okay? So let's uh, go ahead and do do that. Here we go. Kennedy School of Abu Dhabi. Hello everyone, welcome to the show. This is Mr. Flick, and let's get things started with Sucker by the Jonas Brothers. Okay, so there you got it. I'm just gonna trim a little bit of the dead air off the end. Now in uh, pop radio, we never want to have dead air. So I'm actually gonna overlap the ending of the intro with a little bit of mine. You can see I'm just overlapping just a hair there and let me just rewind that so you can listen to it now um, this is the microphone I'm just tapping on it right now so you can hear that so I'm using a USB microphone that's now listening to my speakers out of my MacBook so what you're about to hear is not going to be pure audio it's the speakers coming through the air and going into this microphone here but you'll get an idea of what it's about this is Viper Middle School Radio from the American Community School of Abu Dhabi hello everyone welcome to the show this is Mr. Flick and let's get things started with Sucker by the Jonas Brothers all right, so there we got that. Now we need to bring in the song. So let me go here, take Sucker. I'm going to put all my music on this track down here. So I'm going to have three tracks, okay? So my vocal track, uh, station IDs and sweepers are going to be on this track, and then all music is going to be on this track. Right now they're just labeled with the first thing I brought in, but you get the idea. And look at how much I'm overlapping now. So I'm saying the song while it's starting to play. So now let's listen to what that sounds like. Let's get things started with Sucker by the Jonas Brothers. We can go together. Okay, see how there's no dead air? You do not want any dead air as a pop radio station, okay? So now let's go to the end of our song here. Let me just scroll forward. Let's keep an eye on the time. We're now just at uh, 3 minutes, 10 seconds. Let's go ahead and add another sweeper in. Let's go with uh, Biggest Hits promo. Again, I'm going to drag that to the second track here because that's where we, we put that. And let's just overlap that slightly so that song's just ending and that one's starting to play. Let's listen to how that sounds. Okay. The biggest songs. okay, you see how that played right into it. Okay, now let's go ahead and I'm going to uh, I'm going to actually start this narration over here at the end of this and then I'll move it forward. I don't want to be recording any of this stuff while I'm recording my voice, so I'll move my voice over in just a moment. Select the vocal track to make sure I'm recording in this track and not anything else. And I'm going to introduce the next song, which should be... Uh, I'll do Sweet But Psycho here. All right, let's get back to the music with a request, actually. Sweet But Psycho, it's going out to that special someone, and you know who you are. All right, so I'm just being a little funny there. Let me just take off a little bit of that, that dead air right at the beginning and take off the ending. Do you see how I'm trimming that? I'm just going low on the track, and then I can trim it, okay? Both sides. I'm going to move that over because you can see uh, Sucker ended way over here. 
and I want to start talking just just as it ends with a, still a little bit of the trailing music off. I'm going to start talking over that. Let's hear how that sounds. Viper Radio. All right, let's get back to the music with a request, actually. Sweet but psycho, it's going out to that special someone, and you know who you are. Okay, so then we're going to put our song in there. Uh, Sweet but psycho. Down here in the third track, again, remember putting... Uh, I, I, sorry, that wasn't Sucker that was playing up here. That was my, the promo. And I'm going to have it start as I'm actually saying it. So I'm going to over overlap this one a lot. So if we listen to this, you're going to hear it uh, one play on top of the other, which sounds great in a pop radio station. Request, actually. Sweet but psycho. It's going out to that special someone, and you know who you are. Okay, are you getting how this goes? So now let's go to the end of Sweet but Psycho, see where we're at with our 40 minutes here. We're just approaching the seven-minute mark. So you go ahead and fill your show with interesting things. You shouldn't be talking more than 20 seconds between a segments, I mean, between songs. Otherwise, you start to lose your audience. Um, unless it's a really interesting interview, you have someone that you want to talk to uh, and ask, ask them maybe one question and then play a song and then ask another question and then play a song. Keep your interviews down to less than 30 seconds, okay? Really good stuff. Uh, make sure your levels are good. Make sure you're not recording too loud. I did... If this was truly me doing a show, I would actually re-record uh, this one segment right here. I can see I clipped right here. Clipping is when you it just is too loud, and it makes a funny little noise when it gets to the top of the spectrum there, and I would actually re-record that. There's a little bit of in there because I clipped it. So I was actually speaking a little too loud, so I'd probably back away a little bit further from the microphone and re-record this. So keep an eye on all your things. Make sure you've got nice levels and that it's nice and easy to understand. If you need to, you can always turn down or turn up your volumes here, but normally everything should be recorded at the same volume so that it sounds good together. Uh, essentially, that's what it is. Uh, make sure to save it with your name on it and, um, and kind of maybe the date. And then, of course, when you're done, you will do share export to disk as an MP3, and that's what you'll give me as an MP3 so I can uh, play it over the speakers, okay? But essentially, that is how you make a radio thing. You just add sweepers and station IDs and bumpers and songs and your voice and bada boom bada bing you have a radio show have fun you guys